three, two, one, let's go. Hello, family. Today is February the 20th, and this is Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel here with the Israel News Update. Family, I love you, and I want to thank you for tuning in today. And if you're new to our channel, I want you to know that on this channel, we know we're living in the end times, and we're watching for the imminent return of Jesus. Family, that trumpet is about to sound, and we're going to be ready to go on this channel. This is the time of the end. This I know, for my Bible tells me so. That trumpet is about to blow, and when it does, you already know. Let's go. Alrighty guys, I pray you're all doing well today. Thank you for tuning in with us. And as you may know, on Mondays, we do our Israel News Update. And we take a look at seven end time headlines coming out of the land of modern day Israel. Now, as we see Israel being prepared for the time of Jacob's trouble, it's very important to have an understanding of end time events inside of Israel. As Israel is the Most High God's prophetic timepiece, and so many end times prophecies in our Bible concerns the land of modern day Israel. So guys, without further delay, let's get into our Israel news update in 3, 2, 1. Family, let's do this. Okay, the first headline of the week comes from 7 Israel National News on February 19th, and this end time headline reads, Netanyahu, Israel approaching quantum leap with Saudi Arabia. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said Israel is making strides towards a quantum leap in regional relations, which he predicted will culminate in full diplomatic ties with Saudi Arabia. Now, as many already know, there's been a lot of talk lately about Saudi Arabia coming on board with the Abraham Accords. And now Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is laying out his vision of a train system linking Israel to Saudi Arabia via Jordan. So guys, by all accounts, it appears Saudi Arabia will be the next nation to normalize ties with Israel via the Abraham Accords. Now guys, I'm truly beginning to think that the Abraham Accords could end up being the Daniel 927 covenant with many. What do you guys think? Now the headline number two. Our second headline comes from World Israel News on February 16th, and this headline reads, Biden's ambassador to Israel, Trump, Netanyahu, get enormous amount of credit for peace accords. So the United States ambassador to Israel, Tom Nides, this past Wednesday gave huge amounts of credit to the Trump White House for brokering normalization agreements between Israel and the Arab states. And Tom Knight said that those Arab states sent a message to the world. We stand with Israel. Tom Knight also said that the economic policies of Benjamin Netanyahu, whom he referred to as the father of the startup nation, heavily contributed to the success of the Abraham Accords. Now guys, have you noticed there's been a lot of talk lately about the Abraham Accords. Makes you wonder what's going on. Headline number three comes from Euro News on February 19th, and this end time headline reads, Seventh week of protests in Israel over Netanyahu's planned judicial reforms. So guys, the protests continue inside of Israel for the seventh straight week. As Israeli citizens are taken to the streets to speak up against the government's judicial reform proposal. Now, advocates of this reform say that this reform would restore balance to the system, but the protesters and many others see this move as an attack on democracy. Now, family, it's hard to believe that these protests have been going on for seven straight weeks. Ever since Benjamin Netanyahu won the election and came back into power, the citizens of Israel have been very vocal in voicing concerns over this new government and what they're wanting to do inside of Israel. And this judicial overhaul that Benjamin Netanyahu's wanting to do, it has the citizens of Israel on hinge, and they don't like it at all. Going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Now let's jump to headline number four. Our fourth headline comes from Israel 365 News on February 20th, and this end time headline reads, Israeli government to bar Jews from Temple Mount on last 10 days of Ramadan. 
Alrighty, family, this is interesting right here. Check this out. So the Israeli government is saying the last 10 days of Ramadan, no Jew will be allowed to go ascend the Temple Mount. And that the last 10 days of Ramadan, the Temple Mount will be closed to Jews. Now, as many know, Ramadan and Passover fall during the same time this year. And both are very big holidays for their respective faiths. And Ramadan is also a time when we've seen a violent uptick around the world. So out of fear for Arab backlash for Jews going to the Temple Mount during Ramadan, they're just closing the Temple Mount altogether, the Jews, for the last 10 days of Ramadan. Something that Israeli Security Commissioner Ben Giver is not happy about, and he keeps on voicing his concern about this. Now guys, it's going to be interesting to see if the Jews say screw it and go to the Temple Mount anyway. And if they do that during Ramadan, mark my words on this. We will see a regional conflict like Israel has never seen before. Our fifth headline is from the Times of Israel on February 18th, and this headline reads, Syria reports Israeli airstrike in Damascus area. So Syria's official news agency S-A-N-A is reporting that air defenses of Israel are engaging hostile targets over the capital of Damascus. Now, family, we've been seeing Israel, man, they have been targeting Syria a lot lately. Ever since Benjamin Netanyahu came back into power, the IDF has ramped up operations inside of Syria. Can you say the Damascus prophecy is looming? The Bible says in Isaiah 17.1 that the time is coming when Damascus will cease to be a city. So when you see headlines like this, you can honestly say that you are seeing the beginning of Bible prophecy being fulfilled. All right, our next headline comes from the Jerusalem Post on February 20th, and this one's a little bit different. This headline reads, Dead Finn Whale Washes Up on Israeli Beach. Now, family, this headline right here is a little change of pace of the normal headlines I report, but I thought this was very interesting. So let's say you and your family, you go to the beach. You're going to enjoy the day at the beach. You're going to go get in the water. You walk up to the beach, and you see this thing right here on the beach. What would be your first thought? There's been a lot of animals being stranded on beach lately. I think there's something to this, but I cannot put my finger on it. Alrighty, my beautiful channel family, now to the seventh and final Israel News Update headline for the week of Monday, February 20th, 2023, and three, two, one, family, let's go. The seventh and final headline of the week comes from the Jerusalem Post on February 20th, and this end time headline reads, IDF Navy raises alert level in the Red Sea over concern of Iranian aggression. Okay, family, check this out. So the IDF Navy is raising its level of alertness in the Red Sea because of the concern of Iranian aggression against vessels connected to the state of Israel. So they're raising the alert level so that the IDF Navy will be alert and aware of what's going on, and that way they will be prepared if anything happens. Family tensions between Israel and Iran continue to boil over. It's only a matter of time before that situation pops off. All right, my beautiful channel family. That's our Israel news update for the week of Monday, February 20th, 2023. Remember, guys, we do this every Monday. And on Fridays, we do our end time news update. I want to thank all you guys for watching as I put a lot of time and work into these update videos. So you guys watching them, family, it truly means the world to me. Thank you. Guys, just look around this world we live in. It's never been more obvious that we are truly living in the biblical last days. Everything, and family, I mean everything, that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return. Tell me we're not seeing it all go down in our generation. It's all conversion in our generation. The fig tree generation. The generation that shall not pass away. And family, that's why the message of the gospel is more important than it's ever been here in these end times. So let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Now, if you want to pause this video and go get your Bible, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. 1 Corinthians 15, starting with verse 1. 
Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And then in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And then, family, in John three sixteen, the word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So you see, family, Jesus did it all for us on the cross. That is the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see. You are saved by grace through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. You see, family, all of us need God's forgiveness. And thanks to the finished work of Jesus on the cross, our sin debt has been paid in full. Family, you're not promised tomorrow, so place your faith in Jesus today. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. It helps us out so much and I do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, please drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from the prayer team, man, we would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. And also, if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, email me at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com. And as soon as we can, we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Please include a shipping address for your free Bible and give us some time to get back to you. Only check emails twice a month, but we will get back with you. And if you feel led to contribute to our Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach program, check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. 100% of all contributions either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach. As always, I'm going to ask that you please pray about it first. And family, we got some really big homeless outreach trips coming up. So if you could pray for us, I'd greatly appreciate it. When we're out there on the streets, family, I can truly feel your prayers. And I do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, my beautiful channel family, the next time your brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. I love you and I'll see you in my video tomorrow. Take care, family.